Hello students, welcome back to our channel and here we are again with a new video. Today we are going to study the English main course book of standard 6 and the chapter which we are going to study is chapter 2.3 and the chapter is a teacher for all seasons. This is basically a poem written by Joanna Fush. F-U-C-H-S. We pronounce it Fush. So before we start the poem, we should have a glimpse about this poem. So uh, at the top of the page, it is written, Our teachers occupy a special place in our hearts. Here is a delightful tribute to a teacher. So basically, this poem is a kind of tribute, is a kind of gratitude towards all the teachers. Because teachers are very important person in our life. They play a very important and dominant role to carve out, to make us uh, whatever we are today. They are the backstage heroes in our life. Because it is our teachers who teach us how to read, how to write, uh, write and lots of things. How to make sums and more over that, how to be a good human being. The teachers moral values, the teachers a lot of things. Apart from that, they also entertain us. They make our school life happy and delightful. And they entertain us. Suppose and imagine if the teacher doesn't entertain you in the class, how boring it would be for you to come into school. You will be bored each and every day and the day will come, you won't like uh, coming to school. But uh, our teachers, apart from teaching, they entertain us. They tell us lots of things. Sometimes we ask lot of questions which are not related to the subject, but still our teachers tell us about all those things. Whatever we ask, the answer is ready. So this poem is all about that and it highlights the importance of a teacher in our life. And at the end you will find the writer is giving her own tribute, her own gratitude towards the teacher. So now we are going to read the poem. Uh, first we read first stanza, then second stanza, then third and then so on. If you don't know what a stanza is, a group of lines in a poem is called stanza. So we are going to read the first stanza. And it is, a teacher is like spring who nurtures new green sprouts, encourages and leads them whenever they have doubts. So, in all the stanzas, teacher, role of a teacher is compared with the beauty of a season. So, the first, in the first stanza, the, the role of a teacher is compared to the beauty of spring. Just like in the spring, the green plants, they are nurtured. Nurture here means, it is highlighted in blue color, that means the meaning uh, of this word is given at the bottom of the page. Cares and protects so as to help grow better. So you can find out in spring season all the plants uh, they grow green. They become green and they start growing very fast. So in the spring season uh, the whole environment is full of lush green surroundings. So just like that teacher, te uh, the role of a teacher is just like that in our life. He nurtures us, he encourages us to grow. And whenever we have doubt in mind, it is our teacher who clears all those doubts, who help us to learn more and more. This was the first stanza. Now we are getting into the second stanza. A teacher is like summer whose sunny temperament, here temperament is temperature, makes studying a pleasure. Preventing discontent. Here, preventing discontent means without causing unhappiness or dissatisfaction. That means it is our teacher who makes the learning enjoyable and fun. So, the, the learning is no more boring in the class because our teacher is all the way present to entertain us, to tell us various things about the topic which we are going to study. It is like summer. So, in the summer, uh, like uh, the 
the learning becomes pleasant you know each and every season has its own importance in the summer you feel very comfortable when you take bath you love water you love ice cream you love uh, cold drinks and you love lots of juices so uh, this makes uh, all these things make summer more enjoyable so just like that teacher also makes uh, learning more and more comfortable by uh, bringing all these things in our life the third stanza a teacher is like fall give fall means autumn with methods crisp and clear crisp and clear means quick and effective lessons of bright colors and a happy atmosphere so in the autumn you can see all the leaves are shedding so just like that the, the role of a teacher is so much important that all our doubts all our questions fall like that only because teacher has lots of methods so that we can learn and adapt easily suppose take an example of mathematics if you don't learn it uh, by the method a the teacher introduces method b if you don't like or don't understand the method b the teacher further introduces method c so he keeps on inspiring you uh, the teacher keeps on encouraging you to learn more and more by different methods by various methods so gives a lot of fun and enjoy apart from study this was the uh, third stanza of this poem now we are getting in fourth stanza a teacher is like winter while it's snowing hard outside keeping his students comfortable as a warm and helpful guide so in the fourth stanza the writer is comparing the role of a teacher with the season winter so in winters the the uh, the temperature outside the house is very cold cold waves are blowing sometimes it is uh, it's snowing but inside the house we are very much comfortable just like that outside the world there are a lot of troubles there are a lot of obstacles going on but the teacher keeps us safe in the school Uh, in when when you are in the school when you are in the classroom you don't know anything else what is whatever is going outside the school the teacher helps you focus on the study inside the classroom so he protects you uh, from the outside obstacles of the world he just encourages you to focus on your own studies uh, this was the fourth stanza now we are in the fifth stanza that is the last stanza of this poem teacher you do all these things with a pleasant attitude you are a teacher for all seasons and you have my gratitude so in the last stanza the poet says teacher you do almost everything for us so that we can learn and we can be a successful person in our life so you are the you can say you are the superhero for us and you are there you are there present all the time whenever we have doubt whenever we have problem whenever we are in trouble you are there to help us so and uh, uh, the poet represents the poet shows the gratitude towards the teacher that thank you very much for being with us all the time whenever we are in trouble or whenever we need you so this was a beautiful poem written by joana fash I hope you like the poem. I hope you understood the poem. Still, if you uh, if you have any kind of doubt or question in your mind, you can write that in the comment box. We will be back again with lots of videos. Thank you very much for watching our videos. And if you haven't subscribed our channel, please do like and subscribe our channel. Share our videos. We will be back again. Till then, goodbye and stay tuned.